Hurricanes get the job done, 20 to 17 over the Chiefs. A game of two halves, and what a game it was. A proper clash of the best, top of the table quality, just beautiful. When you talk about New Zealand derbies and the best, the cream of the crop playing, this was that game. Um, the one-on-one positional battles for all black spots in this game as well, unreal. Um, all over the park, I think from from position 7 to 15, all one-on-one -on -one battles for All Blacks positions. They talk about like All Blacks trials and stuff like that, like this was an All Blacks trial, if there ever was one. Getting into it, um, we'll go on the, the Hurricanes first. With a two two po is a two point two po with two point two po's red card. Like I don't know how much lower he needs to get. At what point? At what point? Like I get he was low, and then that last minute went up, like with the shoulder. At what point do we take the ball carrier's height into consideration? Because Tupovai went into the tackle very low. He had ball in hand. He's gone into the tackle very low. Tupo Tupo is low, and then at the last minute goes up a bit, but he's low as well. So, like, they were both like that, and then last minute Tupo Tupo has gone up, and it's connected him. Like, yes, where the contact was made, not good, but at what point, like, how much lower is he going to have to go? Tough. I thought that was a very tough one there, especially to be upgraded to a red card. Very, very tough. Peter Lakai again with his ability – to ride at the line, play, pick the right decision, execute that. For Xavier Numia's try, you were right at the line. Jordy Barrett was out the back. He's, he's drawn the attention of the defender. Lakai's played that short ball. Xavier Numia straight through. And a prop in full flight in open play. Like, beautiful, man. You're not stopping him there. He's built momentum. Doesn't matter how many players are running there to, to make that tackle, you're not stopping the big fella from scoring there. I thought the intensity was insane across the park, but the Hurricanes' intensity in that first half, they kind of withstood or weathered the storm a bit from the Chiefs in that first 10 minutes, and then after that just blew them out of the park. I thought TJ was really leading that tempo, that momentum, that direction for the Hurricanes. Yes, the forwards obviously laying that platform, with the ruck speed, but TJ is just boom there, boom, playing the ball, boom, playing the ball. Um, and it was just like that intensity was t um, honestly test level stuff. It was great, great to watch. So execution, test level. Intensity, test level. And then the set, throw the set plays into that as well. That's almost, I feel like Hurricanes at this point, um, Boshia had been sent off for a yellow. Hurricanes w picked on that or realized that at the set piece or set play from the line out, little interplay, Jordy Barrett busts through, or sorry, Morby busts through, Jordy Barrett on the inside, and he scores under the post, beautiful, beautiful try, that I thought Billy Proctor played really well for the Hurricanes, um, just stamping his mark in a big game like this to the All Black selectors, so strong with ball in hand, straightens the line really well for outside centre and defence, fantastically as well he was 10 carries four defenders beaten and seven tackles um, and then I thought Peter Lakai again just really like I don't know what more he needs to do yes the, the the All Blacks team isn't out yet or the squad hasn't been announced yet until after the Super Rugby but he's done everything he can do to be in there he was great again nine carries and 14 tackles over to the Chiefs um, I thought D Damien McKenzie missing that first penalty goal, not a good, not like it proved costly for them. Um, yes, conceding 15 penalties also doesn't help your cause, um, but normally DMAC knocks those ones over, man. So it was not good there for him to start off the game. The next penalty they got, which I thought was really interesting, they get the next penalty, go to touch. Like they just went to post, they get the next penalty, they go to touch. And then they get an obstruction penalty at that mall. Like they were probably going to score from the mall five meters out and then you get an obstruction penalty against you. Like you get small opportunities in games. 
You have to take them. You have to put on points. And then I thought in, that, in the rest of that first half, they were just blown out of the park. And that's credit to Hurricanes. The intensity they were playing with was unreal and unmatched. Just really catching the Chiefs off guard. But credit to them. They come out in that second half and just went bang. Went bang. The interplay between backs and forwards, out the backs, uh, players running from depth, players in motion, support plays. Anton Leonard Brown with a little goose down the touchline and then played inside for narrow eye to go over to score. I thought Anton Leonard Brown was a standout for the Chiefs. Um, funny how both outside centers played really well against each other. Um, but just Anton Leonard Brown, man, he's just time and time again that you, you might like, yes, he doesn't bring you the outrageous sidesteps and handoffs and bust through and makes those big, big plays. But what he does bring is just a solid defensively, first of, first of all, which is number 13. That's what you want. Your number 13 is the hardest defender in the team, hardest position to defend. You want someone that can defend. Anton Leonard Brown is your man. And then just tough as nails, tough as nails. Keeps getting up, keeps making those tackles, second efforts, just keeps going. The engine on him must be unreal. He was one try assist, six carries and six tackles, two turnovers as well. So he's having an extra flank on the field, pretty much. Um, and it was a game of two halves. Uh, the last minute, last, last minute penalty was Jacobson. Very, very tough. Makes an absolute dominant tackle, like biggest, strong tackle. He's known for them. Hits you here across the chest on Jordy Barrett. Massive hit. And then just get stuck on the wrong side, literally pinned on the wrong side. Again, if you do open this up to making, like the ref making a call where, yeah, if he gets pinned, it's just a stop and we start again with a scrum, that's tough, man, because then it becomes a gray area again where this, this penalty is a black and white. If you're not rolling away or at least making an attempt to roll away, which he kind of wasn't. I didn't really see his legs flicking around, um, but he was... Like, you get pinned then, and he did. And Brett Cameron sealed it for the Hurricane last-minute penalty to win it. Tough, tough, tough one there. Tough pull to swallow, but that's rugby, man. And what a game this was. Let me know what you guys thought about the game in the comments. Who was your standout player? Um, fantastic. And Hurricanes go top of the table. We're back on top, baby. We're back on top. Let's go. Do ya.